It was a tough match, tough match, like we expected, always away from home in the Europe Conference League is tough. Um, I think we, we we compete well, we compete well in terms of attack. I think we should should finish the actions better. Some good combinations that were missing. And um, there was a period in the second half that we lost a little bit of control. Um, but in terms of lack of focus in the in the moment of the goal, details that, that we should improve like we always do. Uh, Conference League is always a chance to <coughs> to have minutes on the players, um, players that work hard and deserve. So this is what it was all about. So let's let's progress in terms of the group. I think we have two games at home uh, <coughs> against VTS, against Ren, and then we have to play Mura that we can uh, we can solve the situation of the group. That is not 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 uh, the question. Is having minutes, <coughs> compete, uh, improve, uh, because like you know, it's a we have a tough tough schedule ahead of us. We we're gonna need all the players in the best conditions possible. Mm, then you're gonna discuss the options, the decisions, but decision was made. Uh, we, we, we took a little, uh, moments to decide, and we decide uh, to bring um, the players that start, and uh, with the under 22s to give to give us support. Uh, we use only uh, Dylan because you consider that the game only require require that. Internationals, I think, yeah. in the starting eleven. So, I mean, do you think, as difficult as it is to, to make eleven changes, do you think you, you can expect more from from those guys than they showed tonight? No, I knew that, gonna, that the game is gonna be gonna be tough. I'm not I'm not here to judge the players. I'm here to to try and, and improve them. Uh, the analysis and the judgment we do it behind closed doors, like you can understand. You know, you spoke yesterday about. Um, Steven Bergwijn coming back into the team, obviously his yeah. first game coming back here. What, what did you make of his his performance tonight? Mm, he needs he needs to 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 get back 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 in levels of fitness. Um, he was more involved in the first half. The second half naturally he dropped a little bit, but this is what we need to the players to be in the pitch to to get like I said before the best fitness levels that can possibly do. Would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I'm not going to, please, I'm not going to comment on, on any words from, with all my respects, for Glenn Aldell, I will not comment these words. My analysis is made uh, between us and what I have to say, I'll say to the players. Is it difficult for you to convince a bunch of players to be motivated when they perhaps feel that they are the second string players who play in, in this competition? And as opposed to the ones who play in the league? No, I don't consider this way. I don't consider this way. I think that uh, a football match is always a chance to compete. So our approach is always the same. So we expect all the players to compete in all the matches, no matter what competition we are involved. Do you think Dane is, is ready to play at this level, Nuno? If it, it looked like it was quite difficult. Dane is uh, he's 17 years old. Dane is 17 years old. He is tough, tough for him. Uh, but many of of our players when they were 17, they were not involved in in first team football. So it's full of talent. Of course, details that comes with experience, and the experience is when he competes against uh, top professionals like he did against against Vitesse today. Would Would you prefer to have a more experienced backup striker for Harry in the squad? Is that something you'll look at? No, the squad is is what we have. And it's my job, our job, to to take care of all of them. I'm not gonna comment on. Okay.